When did I get a sword next to me? Oh my god, did you see that? It just moved a little bit closer. Super awesome. What's up everybody, Red Thorn here, bringing you Castle Seas number 21 here in the game Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's get into it. Here are the three castles, Gluteo and Giron are belonging to Party On. The one in the middle, the one I will be recording, I've got FSK and Korea, part of Fire and Ice, facing off against Yangair. For the first time, Yangair is not the defender, they are an attacker. I don't know who Legendary is, but 191.7 million combat power, that's, what is that? That's that's an alt clan, bid block or something. But Yangair, if Yangair can make this happen, it will be the first time, I believe it will be the first time since the introduction of the third castle, that one of the major alliances owns all three castles. So no pressure to Yangair. On top of that, they are also not defending, but attacking, which is a completely different set of strategies. So it'll be interesting to see. I, obviously, Yangair is probably going to go after Korea to try to knock them out uh, right from the start. And if that's the, the case, it will be a very hard-fought battle to win this castle against FSK. Because no doubt the gems will be spilling over in abundance being used. But let's head into the battlefield. I've got two and a half minutes before the 10 second countdown. We have FSK, obviously, here in the blue on the top, the defenders. I've got Yangair is here in the bottom right. Korea in the middle, that leaves the nobody nothing clan over there on the left, which makes things a lot easier for Yangair. They don't have to travel across the whole battlefield. They only need to go up through their gate and straight to the middle to get to Korea. This should be a pretty awesome looking battle. I will see you at the 10 second countdown. 10 seconds before this battle begins. Good luck to everyone involved. Five seconds before this battle begins. And here we go. Castle Siege number 21. Yangair trying to do the impossible. Impossible being, uh, you know, Having one, having one alliance have all three castles. Should they succeed in this, um, I, I guarantee you next week we're going to have some fights. I mean, this is where the action is going to be, obviously. I think they're making uh, FSK do all the work here on this gatehouse. Okay, here we go. Somebody already managed to get through all this insanity and start doing some damage to Yangar's castle head headquarter he castle headquarters, their siege camp. <laughs> Dirt. I'm sure that's not gonna happen too much. And by the way, I swear to you, I am not a Yangar YouTuber. It just seems like Yangar fights more often than Transcendence or Redemption or virtually anybody else in Partyon. And I'm always, always there to, to see them, to record them. So they're going to sit here at the chung point and try to keep FSK from getting in. Likely sending out onesies and twosies. To try to take down Korea at least. I mean, the action's up there. I got it. I want to see how much, uh... I don't... I haven't seen Korea's headquarters be under attack yet. They may not even have broken their gates down. And why should they? Make Yangair fight their way through that. That'll make things even harder for them. So that's a good strategy. So we'll skip that. I don't, that's not going down anytime soon.
Yep, Korea's not going to do a damn thing. This is Yangar versus FSK right now. And I'm seeing this defense tower go down, so... A double-edged sword? Both of these defense towers are taking some damage. The double-edged sword there with Korea not helping out. It could literally mean that Yangair could break, will break their way into the castle. But will they be able to do much about that? Korea's just standing there. There, that's that's nothing. Redemption took Garen. There goes one of the defense towers of that outer gate. Oh, here it comes. I mean, when they... They're allowing... Wow, this guy's really doing some damage. He's a mercenary, too. There's another FSK mercenary. Yeah, this is. A, I'm telling you, this is a heck of a lot harder to do when you are attacking than when you are defending. There's probably a massive amount of lag, and some people are just making their way through. It happens. So they managed to break through, but Yangair is kind of in a tough spot right now. As they now have to fight through all of that to try to get to more defense towers. FSK has only 91 kills, while Yangair has 230 and counting, but it means nothing because FSK isn't here to get kills. They're here to just try to push past all this insanity. Come down here and take a sliver or two off. It won't shock me if Yangair's siege camp gets to about three quarters dead, and they they let Korea know, hey, you can bust out of your uh, out of your gate and help us finish them off. I can see that happening, but th they may not even need to do that. I think party on in this case. Probably should have done a little bit better in the bidding. A two-on-two two could have gotten a, a third castle for party on, but a a one-on a one-on-one, on one, and you're not the defender. It's gonna make it very difficult. So there goes the defense tower to one of the crystal gates, and there goes the other one. This will allow Yangair to come in here. Has been reset. Oh, here's a couple of Yangair. Oh, they would love to get they would love to get these, wouldn't they? bit of a while it was a two on two for a little bit now it's a three on two and there's still look at it there there goes the sir with his 
his coins. Let me run around in circles and have everyone chase me. Move there. Look at that. Here's a few more Yangai are coming up through here with a bunch of others chasing them. Why are you chasing them? Uh oh. There's Sad Potato. Trying to win this fight, but died. Oh, I'm running into... I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. This is terrible. I don't want to, you know I don't want to use the waypoints because... Is Korea still, they're still standing there. Oh, nope, looks like they... They broke through. Yep, I think FSK said, hey, we need some help. Or they heard that uh, Gengar was about to win this battle. Well, not about to win, but they were imprinting. I think that caused. I don't. I don't. I haven't been paying attention, so we need to wait for FSK to come down here. Now that Korea's out and about, that will allow Gengar to send some people down there to knock him down if they really wanted to. There's a couple FSK did some damage. That siege camp is about half dead. A little bit over. Well, that was exciting for a little bit. There goes Korea's siege headquarters. I... I'm on the fence about attacking them because they're... I don't think they're that much of a threat. There goes Arandra. They're like a 25 million somebody or other. They got stopped before they get down there, though. However, Deadly Shot made it. Comes another one. Boy, they just let them. I'm on the fence about Yangai attacking Korea. I just don't think it's a good idea. You're you're sacrificing people. That could probably stay here and and help out. I mean, your siege camp is is over half dead now. So taking out Korea isn't really going to do a whole heck of a lot. The altar of water has been reset. Although I'm sure there's some kind of a, a reasoning behind. We'll see how long it takes for Yang. Oh, here goes one. Didn't take that long, apparently. I mean, they could, but is it worth it, though? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think it's worth it for Yangar to go after Korea? Korea is obviously not throwing too many people at Yangar right now. So it's almost like it's a, a decoy. Hey, come get us and take several of your people. Away from defending your siege camp, which is about to go down.
I honestly don't see Yengar being able to do this. Uh, I just, I don't see it. Maybe, maybe, if it, in fact, if it was a two-on-two, -two, this would have most likely been over. But uh, a two-on-one and one just sort of stayed behind their, their castle. Their castle doors. You know, their gates. I mean, it's, this is pretty much over. There's, there's no way. But, give Rangar credit. They did manage to go up there and get some imprinting time. But this is about done right here. I mean, it's just a sliver. And Yangar has been eliminated from Castle Siege number 21. Lasting just over 15 minutes. About 14 minutes. 14 and a half minutes they lasted before that was the end of that. So we will sit back and wait for somebody to win this. Looks like FSK is deciding to keep this castle as they are attacking both Legendary and Korea. And congratulations to Fire and Ice for successfully defending their castle here in Castle Siege number 21. Here are your stats. Yeah, Yangair. It's a lot harder to attack than it is to defend. That is for sure. But as I said earlier, they did manage to get up to the crystal and <laughs> and start to imprint it. Oh, that's that was legendary. Like I'm like, what? That was short. But the streak has been broken. I have recorded FSK winning in a castle siege. Mark this date down, ladies and gentlemen. There are your stats. We know how everybody else did, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.